Hello and good evening guys. Today I'm planning to try not something new but something I haven't done for a long time now. I am planning to go to the Betchers and check out if they are still there because about uh, one and a half year, no, about two years ago, I photographed some badgers at that particular den. So hopefully I'm able to observe them again. And uh, yeah, just out a bit chilling, enjoying nature. And maybe we are, if you're we lucky, we are going to see the badgers. So fingers crossed and as always, I keep you updated. So, so mainly there are two important things if you want to photograph badgers. Uh, first thing is that you stay off wind. So the smell of the badgers is pretty good. So not pretty good, it's amazing. Maybe the best of their senses. So you should definitely eliminate those scents. And second one is to be quiet. They have a quite good hearing, so they are able to hear you if you, if you are too loud. And uh, the only easy thing about badgers is that they don't have a very good eyesight, so it's not that important to camouflage that much. So at least at that point, it's a bit easier. But yes, we'll see. And uh, yeah. And as I said, I haven't been to the den for like two years now. And it's really a bit of a lucky game almost. I mean, uh, Den is huge. It's about 20 to 30 entries, so it's really big. And uh, I think that they are still there, but who knows? I mean, as I said, I haven't been there since two years now. So at least I will try. Maybe we all can see something else. I don't know, we will see. And uh, yeah. But, uh, and in case you didn't know on how to find badgers, that's, that's actually pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna show you now. Maybe you can see those wild paths that lead into the forest. That is the easiest way to find a badger den. Because it's not necessary to know if actually a badger is walking that uh, way because um, the badger is playing a very important role in our ecosystem. So when a badger is, a badger den is around, every animal will come to that den at some point because they get all the minerals the animals need out of the earth. And these animals will use the minerals they get out. And so, you will probably find a badger at, at least once if you follow those paths. So actually pretty easy. So I'm almost at the fox den. A uh, fox den, badger den. I started getting a bit more quiet. I need to check the wind. And then I decide where to place myself and yeah. So, so I'm at the den now. I'm gonna show you the den. Wait a second.
so guys that was it for today and uh, yeah tomorrow I will probably go up again and uh, hopefully I will get some more time with the badgers it's always a bit uh, difficult when they are just active at dawn you only have like <coughs> a few minutes where you have enough light for some good photos so yeah I will probably go there the next days when we have good weather conditions I'll probably be out and photograph the badgers again so as always I will take you with me and uh, we will have a look together at those gorgeous animals hello guys and good evening from the second day of my little badger project to the badgers bonnie and clyde we called them like two years ago uh yeah this time i'm a bit earlier than last time so i have enough time to set up everything and to get quiet until uh the badgers get up and i hope that this time they are more active and maybe I'm lucky and get a few more minutes with them so last time was like <laughs> like one minute and this time I really hope we get some more time with them so yeah I'm on my way there and I get, get you with me when I'm on location so I have to say to run the same way again because I was all set up, set everything up and then I realized when I uh, started the camera that I have no XQD card inside of the camera. So I needed to get up, pack everything together except the, the net, rush to the car, drive home, drive back and now Again, <laughs> I'm on the way back to the den. So I really hope I'm not too late. I think it still should be fine, but yeah, we don't know. So I go back to the den and then we hope to see the badgers.
So guys, that was nevertheless an incredible evening. We had like four adult badgers and two cups and I actually did not expect the cups at all and I'm just so happy right now that it was a beautiful evening and I'm gonna be there definitely the next days also maybe not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow and uh, yeah that was awesome I had to switch to my 100 macro 2.8 because it was actually too dark for my 500 millimeter lens but still very awesome and just incredible so see you the next time hello guys so back again in the yeah woods in the fields uh, to just finish up the little badger project and um, yeah I set up a camera trap a few weeks ago at another den and um, yeah now I'm gonna check what's inside and hopefully we have some nice images. So I quickly changed uh, batteries and uh, was amazing results as far as I can see it but uh, you will see the final results then in the video. So I just changed the SD cards, batteries are fine, they, I just changed them a week ago or so, so should be running for three or more weeks and uh, yeah so that far for that little camera trapping project for the badger cups and it was a full success I said in the beginning of this year I wanted to take images of some badger cups and as far it's very su successful this year so I just gonna activate the motion sensor again and then we'll leave it and again for another week or so <laughs> 